Hello everyone and welcome back to another Roaring Records tutorial. Today I would like us to talk about panning and panning in uh, music is when you have the ability to make your left headphone sound different in the mix than your right headphone. So for instance you might be able to push a sound to the left or the right so that you hear it more on one side or the other. Now why might this come in handy? Well, if you think about it, how you listen to music on stage, you know, you generally have a singer that's front and center and a drummer that's back center. And you can actually set those parameters to be that way in a recording. And then your guitar players, you might have a rhythm guitar player on one side, a lead guitar player on the other, maybe the bass guitar and keyboards. You can actually set those positions where the instrumentalists actually show up in the uh, stereo field. That's what we call this term to mean the sound field between your left ear and your right ear. That's the stereo field. So I want us to look in um, Soundtrap right quick. And I have made uh, two tracks here, a guitar track and a drum track. And this is what the two sound like together. <laughs> So, neat little groove, um, but both of those things are coming right down the center. So it feels like if you were listening to it, that you were uh, listening to a guitar player sitting right in front of a drum set player. Well, uh, we can get in there and change that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the little guitar icon right here, and we'll scroll over and I'm going to look, and I'm going to see that there is a pan knob right here. So top dead center on the pan knob means evenly split between both headphones you're going to feel like that sound is in the center so i'm going to take and for our purposes i'm going to push that guitar sound all the way to the right so now uh the guitar sound is only going to come out of my right headphone and for the drums i'm going to do the same thing but except going to the left so now i've got the guitar all on one side and the drums all on another and this is what that would sound like <laughs> Now, I don't know that I would ever recommend that that be totally the way you go because that's complete isolation from each other and it doesn't feel like they're in the same room. So I'm going to go back and kind of mix that just a little bit less. So we get a little bit of each instrument in each headphone, just not much. So this should be a better blend of sounds. <laughs> Another thing that you might consider doing is even duplicating tracks so that you have two of them, one set to pan to one side, one set to pan to the opposite side. I'm actually going to keep the guitar a little bit more in the center. And I'm also going to do this with the drum track. So I'm going to look in the instrument one. I'm going to pan it. Uh, pretty hard left go this one pretty hard right so the drums are now going to be a little outside this will create a wider stereo image and still be pretty full <laughs> Another thing you will notice is that definitely made it louder. So you want to go in and readjust volumes such that uh, it reflects a balanced mix. So now you feel like the guitar player is kind of tight in front of you, but the drums are a little bit more encompassing. So these are all different things that you can do with the pan feature. I hope you found this helpful. Um, this is how you can begin to use pan. In the next video, we're going to talk about how to make pan change over the course of the actual song. So uh, if you 
like this video, hit the thumbs up below, and hit subscribe.